Hey guys, we're going to be covering integrating products and quotients by substitution in this session. Let's get started. Now, integrating products and quotients is pretty much the same thing as what we did before um, in the earlier videos where we integrated by substitution. So here's an example. We want to integrate products. In this case, we want to find integral of x multiplied by 2x plus 1 squared dx. So as we did with substitution, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use 2x plus 1 as u. So u is equal to 2x plus 1, which means I might as well work out the differentiation of this. So du dx would equal 2. Now remember that um, I wanted to have dx by itself. So then rearranging everything, I'm going to get du divided by 2 equals dx. So now I'm going to replace everything in the integral itself. So I've got integral of x multiplied by u squared and dx is equal to du divided by 2. Now fortunately I can't integrate this because there is still an x I've got to deal with. So here's just the simplified version of this um, equation. So we've got integral of x u squared divided by 2 du. So as I was saying before, I still got to get rid of this x here. Now the way I can get rid of this x is by using this equation here. Because originally I said that u is equal to 2x plus 1. Which means I could rearrange this just to have x by itself. So, Or in other words, I want to have x in terms of u. So rearranging this, I'm going to get u minus 1 equals 2x. Therefore, u minus 1 divided by 2 equals x. Now what I could do is I could go back to the integral and substitute x but in terms of u. So as you can see, the equation right there, x times u squared divided by 2, du. Now I'm going to replace x with u minus 1 divided by 2. So this would be u minus 1 divided by 2 multiplied by u squared divided by 2 and du. Which, simplifying this, I'm going to get u cubed minus u squared divided by 4. Of course, this is still with respect to du. I'm just going to move this along to the right-hand side here, folks. And I'm going to separate the uh, as two separate fractions. So I'm going to have u cubed divided by 4 minus u squared divided by 4 du. Now, from this point onwards, it's just our basic, basic integration. So integrating this, I'm going to get u to the power of 4 divided by 4 times 4 minus u to the power of 3 divided by 4 times 3, of course, plus c. And at this point, all I have to do is simplify. Simplifying this, I'm going to get u to the power of 4 divided by 16 minus u to the power of 3 divided by 12 plus c. Now, I'm not done yet because I still have u in the equation, and I need to have it in terms of x. But we did say u is equal to 2x plus 1. So all we have to do is substitute 2x plus 1 back into u. So we're going to get 2x plus 1 to the power of 4 divided by 16 minus 2x plus 1 to the power of 3 divided by 12 plus c. And guys, that's about it. That's all you can do with this. Now, what you can do if you have time is you can actually differentiate this and see whether you get x multiplied by 2x plus 1 squared. But for integrating products, this is what you're expected to do. All right, with integrating quotients, which is the next example I'm going to look at, it's pretty much the same thing. So as I was saying, with integration of quotients, it's pretty much the same idea, the same concepts. We substitute what x is, or we substitute what u is, and then figure out x in terms of u and do the whole thing again. Now. In this question, I've got integrating quotients, so I need to determine x divided by square root of x minus 1. Now, this actually looks quite complicated, but in reality, it's actually quite straightforward. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down u as square root of x minus 1. So that my denominator just becomes u by itself. Now, I could put it as x minus u is equal to x minus 1, but that's going to cause problems because I'm going to have square root of u at the denominator. So it's better to get rid of this, and you'll see why. Now, what I could do from this point on is I could square both sides to get u squared is equal to x minus 1. Now, remember, I want x in terms of u. So with this, it's quite straightforward 
because I'm going to get u squared plus 1 equals x. Now, in, when you're doing um, integrating products, what you would do at this point is you would differentiate u, um, so you'd find du dx. But here's the trick, though. You can also do it the opposite way. So you can actually work out what dx du is, just to make things easier for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it around. So we can kind of say, since x is equal to u squared plus 1, dx du is equal to 2u, which means we can rewrite dx by itself. We can actually say dx is equal to 2u du. Now, we've done all, all the parts. Now we just need to substitute it back into the equation to make it work out real nice. And have a look, see how it works. So, we've got integral of x divided by square root of x minus 1 dx, which equals, now we know what x is, because it's in the purple circle right there, which is u squared plus 1, divided by, we also know what square root of x minus 1 is. That's in the green circle here, well, oval, which is u. So we can replace that with u. And we also know what dx is. dx is 2u du. So this is multiplied by 2u du, because that's what dx is. So from this point, we can actually simplify things. Because we can say that this is u squared plus 1 times 2u, the whole thing divided by u, du. Now at this point, we've got a u in the numerator and we've got u in the denominator. So we can cancel them out each other. And we're going to be left over with integral of 2u squared plus 1 du. Expanding this, we're going to get 2u squared plus 2 du. Once again, guys, I'm going to move to the right-hand side here. So I've got 2u squared plus 2 du. Now, th from this point onwards, it's just basic integration, like what we did at the beginning. So this is going to integrate to 2u cubed divided by 3 plus 2u. And of course, don't forget your arbitrary constant, which is plus c. Now, we want this in terms of x, so all we have to do is substitute, substitute u as, well, square root of x minus 1. So this is going to be 2 multiplied by square root of x minus 1 to the power of 3 divided by 3 plus 2 times square root of x minus 1 plus c. All right, guys, that's about it for integrating quotients. So as you can see, whether you're integrating products or quotients, uh, always use the substitution method and make sure you have uh, the same letters. So for example, if you substituted, substitute u in terms of x, make sure there are no x's when you integrate. Okay? All right, that's about it for this session. Uh, thank you for watching.